but it ain't gonna be nothing like this. Like yeah. he getting, he getting that. You got Boosie over there at Vlad. You got Wag One Hundred over there at at No Jumper. Wag One Hundred was doing that already on that uh, clubhouse by himself. He already was a star. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. Now I'm gonna move on. I got something else I want to talk about because I looked this up. I couldn't believe it happened, but it did. And um, I want to talk about it a little bit. You guys can listen in on the conversation. I'm gonna let the clip play. And um, we're gonna we're gonna listen to what um, happened today. Album 22, no jumper said this. Okay, so I have a pretty huge announcement and I'm doing it on Snapchat. Uh, so anybody who's thinking about ripping this and putting it on any other platform, don't even think about it. Anyway, Snapchat exclusive. Uh, I'm making some very big changes in terms of no jumper. As of today, or as of tomorrow, the news, no jumper news, it's over. The Monday show, the Wednesday show, and the Thursday show also are over. I've decided that I really want to focus No Jumper. So I will be continuing to do the Tuesday show with Lush and Brick Baby. I will continue to do as many interviews as possible. I'm going to have other people on the platform. Okay, let's stop it right there. So Adam22 runs a podcast, uh, a whole media network. Um, sort of like myself, he, he runs different programs. We have Boss Talk Podcast 101. We have uh, OTCU on the come up on a network station that uh, we call Boss Talk 101 Primetime, which you guys work with me on. So um, he has he has a lot going on as well at his spot. So he decides to come forward and say, you know what? Screw this. I'm letting everybody go. This is the second phase. The first phase was uh, House Phone and AD, who AD has been on this show multiple times. They left the first. That was the first phase. They left. And then he comes back and he gets Whack 100 and he gets Brick Baby and he gets uh, he, Sharp was the only one that stayed over there and his show continued to go. Um, so he's switching it up again. Is this him creating controversy to make people watch the show more? He has millions of followers. He, as myself, we all on all these different platforms, streaming every day. Um, what do you take from it, Mr. Maker? Because you know he's talked to. We had a falling out with him early on. Boss Talk 101 came in the game falling out with Adam 22 and AD. They talked about Boss Talk and Charleston White. We was all arguing back and forth. It was a big thing. He could be cutting back for many reasons. Um, cause he mentioned, you know, having less employees and we already know if you cut back on less employees, you're trying to save that money, trying to probably allocate that money into other areas. Probably, you know, maybe he's not, his show does well. So I'm not going to say he's not making as much money as he used to because he should have been making, still making really good money. So I won't even think is that he's just probably cutting back. You never know. He's trying to spend more time with his family. There's a lot of different scenarios we could go with why a person would want to, you know, pull back. It could be a lot of drama with so many different shows and so many different people dealing with. It, it's a hassle having a lot of employees, a lot of different personalities. I know a lot of his people that he's dealing with is not females. You know, females can go cuckoo sometimes, but he's to deal with a lot of men, you know? I deal with a lot of females. Check this out. I'm a real, real one. I don't, I don't really mess around with a bunch of niggas. My daddy told me when I was young, don't be letting them niggas ride in that car. You got your new car. You in high school, I been I see now nigga in that car. <laughs> and I've been rooming with women ever since. I don't mess with no bunch of niggas like that. Ever. You know my daddy how he was. That's mm -hmm. how he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I look at it from a different perspective. I think you got to realize all of these guys, a lot of them were gang affiliated. There were people pulling up to the, you know, to the spot. He's in L.A. He's in the Cali California. He's in a, and all he have on is people who are affiliated with different, you know, gangs. Uh -huh. So there are people into it on the show. They fight back and forth on the show. Last episode I watched, Flacco and Wack 100 got into it and they was walked outside to fight. There's always a lot of controversy. So there's a lot of drama going on. Yeah, and and I think that's the difference between, you know, what he but but he made that bid. That's what he you know yeah, it got him a lot of views. It. Yeah. it got it got him a lot of, but you know, hey, listen, the, people go through it. Okay, right. I think he's sharp. I think he. 
I think Adam 22 is smart to do it the way he does it. But I do think from Adam 22 to Vlad to all these white guys who are interviewing black people and making money off of it, I think it's a money grab for them. I don't think they care too much about what we're doing for our culture. Uh, I try to be one that looks out for our people. So it's a difference. It, well, our dynamics are different. Now, we're different because I come from this culture. I've been through a lot of stuff to be who I am to speak the way I do on this show. Mm -hmm. But when you look at those guys, they have grew their platforms on bringing minorities, black and brown, all on his show and, and, and pretty much using them for the drama in their life and in their culture and making money off of all the drama yeah. that's going on, all the fighting mm -hmm. and all the bull. And, and I think that that can be dangerous. Yeah, because now people are probably opening up their eyes. That's all he's doing, right? I don't it's know like, if they are. Is he, is he doing his own culture? No. Exactly. So now people are probably starting to see that and see that he's making money off, you know, everybody else's drama. Like a culture vulture you're talking about? You know what I'm saying? Almost, almost... I don't want to say being racist, but I mean at the same time you're putting every other race out there, because but your race. own. Mm -hmm. So you ain't talking about everybody. You're trying to make everybody else look bad, make everybody yep. else look lower, make every, you know what I'm saying? And you're making money off it. Mm -hmm. You making so, money, big right. money, millions. So, so that's why now people, you know, probably starting to see. But at the same time, he already made what he needs to make. Now he can just focus on something else better, just for him. You know, what I don't I'm saying? think so. I think he rebuilds, and I think he puts. He don't know nothing else but to put people that look like us in front of him to grow his base. I don't think he can do it no other way. We are, man, listen, it's your girl, little pinky. <laughs> oh shit, man. We exciting. Miss Jamaica. I mean, mm. uh, ECO, the stuff we deal with, the people we talk to when Vlad talked to Boosie, that shit is exciting to him. He has never felt our culture like that. Boosie mm. faced life. Boosie was in, in face life was in prison. Uh, 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 was put on death row and he's trying to touch that. So are you mm. saying that if they were videoing... Yeah. Hold on, so you Vlad, saying... I'm talking about, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you saying if these individuals like Vlad or Adam22 was interviewing their own culture, you're telling me that they wouldn't get as Not many views? Not gonna be exciting. It wouldn't Not be as exciting? Ain't nobody exciting like us. No. We are very excitable I, I, people. I, I agree with that. It's gonna be boring as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be you get yeah. a few, but it ain't gonna be nothing like this. Like yeah. he getting, he getting that. You got Boosie over there at Vlad. You got Wag One Hundred over there at at No Jumper. Wag One Hundred was doing that already on that uh, clubhouse by himself. He already was a star. You go get these people, your show gonna go. You can have AD over there, and I told AD on here, man. Listen, that dude had you over there. You a big old brother. You know all the other crips and you all the other bloods. It's real safe to do stuff when you around. So yeah, I think it's I think it's uh I think it's a great move for whoever do it. You know, I'm just telling you. I don't know much about Bootleg Kid, but I always throw him in, in the in the book. He's a white guy interviewing black people too. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.